well, we have a lot to talk about today. Welcome everyone to a video style I have not done in quite some time. For those of you who have been with the channel for quite some time, uh, I did used to do some uh, Blu-ray updates or Blu-ray hunt videos because I wanted to try to be hip or up to date with a lot of people doing stuff like that and stop because I didn't really buy, I didn't go out buy all that much and when I moved the places I went to they're not quite as lenient as <laughs> stuff like that so I stopped doing those all together but within this past month I have acquired so much stuff that I kind of felt like actually being able to share with you guys. Let me know what you guys think of some of my pickups because this range from stuff I have seen, stuff I have not seen, and stuff that were just cheap enough. I was like, what the heck, why not? <laughs> so, and as you can see, we clearly have a lot to go through. So, if you like content like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this in the future, because you guys are the content drivers, I'm just the content creator. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, what an interesting one to start off with. Sweeney Todd. I do like Sondheim, and this is one messed up movie and one messed up musical, but I still love me a good musical. And like I said, love Stephen Sondheim. Corpse Cried, really good animated movie to watch around Halloween time. Warm Bodies, a really good horror romantic movie. I actually really enjoy this one. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Don't know why I got it. I think it was because it's cheap and the person threw in Abraham Lincoln vs. Zombies. So, I expect nothing but other garbage from these. Nonetheless, I have them. The Wolfman. Uh, the unrated cut with Benicio Del Toro and Anthony Hopkins. Don't know what to think about this one. I'm gonna start and get into like classic Universal monster movies later this year. And I knew this one was one that they remade and what can I say? Curiosity has the best of me, and really curious to see how this is. Scream 6 4K Steelbook. I did pre-order this one. Um, I actually saw this one in theaters, which definitely check out my YouTube short review of. Um, I actually really enjoy this. Steelbook's really cool. It's a really interesting design for the back. And yeah, so I have uh, 1, 2, 5, and 6. So now I'm just missing 3 and 4, and I'll have them all. Ghost Rider, uh, with the extended cut. Dante's Inferno, the anime. Didn't know they made an animated movie version of Dante's Inferno based off the, the game. Um, have not watched this yet, but I'm really looking forward to it because you know, mine's been an awful lot like the Castlevania Netflix series, so definitely looking forward to watching this. Kingdom of Heaven by Ridley Scott. Never seen it, really curious to see how it is. I know it deals with like the Knights of Templar, but, yeah, I think this is going to be a really cool, like, sword and sandals type of movie. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Actually, I've not watched this. This is the extended version, but I'm still really looking forward to watching this. I, I grew up with the animated Robin Hood and Robin Hood Men in Tights, but I'm really looking forward to diving into the one that Men in Tights spoofed, and I hear it's really good. Australia. Hacksaw Ridge. I actually watched this the other night. Uh, with my mom on Amazon and told her I was getting it in the mail. And he here it is. Volkery with Tom Cruise. This is one I've been wanting to watch for years. Another World War II movie. I've watched a little bit of it, but have not finished it. Uh, it does have Christopher McQuarrie doing the screenplay for it. So, And I've been liking it so far because Christopher McQuarrie and Tom Cruise, great pair. So yeah, I'm looking forward to actually finishing this. Speaking of Tom Cruise and Christopher McQuarrie, Jack Reacher. Uh, another great movie. I know it's the character of Reacher is not like it is in the book, but still pretty good and very enjoyable Tom Cruise action movie. And I do have the sequel, which is boring and forgettable, but when I get one, I gotta get the other. So, here they are. Another forgettable espionage thriller, The Girl in the Spider's Whip, which is kind of in canon with Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I've yet to finish reading slash, and I haven't watched yet. So I have this and I have Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Just have to watch them. Want to finish the first book before I watch any other movies, but from what I understand, it's pretty meh. 
Spy with Melissa McCarthy, directed by Paul Feig. A really fun, enjoyable action spy comedy. Fight Club with David Fincher, Edward Norton, and Brad Pitt. It's been on my to see list. It was really cheap, and I know that one of my co workers is it's their favorite movie. So I kind of knew I had to bite the bullet and finally get it and watch it. I have not watched it yet, but I do have it. So at some point, I can't cross this off my list. V for Vendetta. <laughs> Ted, uncut. Um, oh, sorry, unrated. I did watch this with my brother the other night, and though stupid as it is, we did find this pretty funny. Last Vegas, pretty funny, like, group comedy with a bunch of old fogies. Uh, Daniel, Michael Douglas, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Klein. It's basically the grown-up version of The Hangover or the next movie we're actually going to talk about. That being grown-ups and grown-ups too. I kind of enjoy the first one though it's pretty stupid and then the second one is just even more stupid but hey what can I say at least have, I do have both of them though. Wall Hogs, a uh, really dumb c comedy that I remember watching a lot with my dad and my mom. I do, I do enjoy this. I also have the one that Disney did later, Old Dogs, with Travolta and Robin Williams and Seth Green, which I didn't find quite as funny as Wall Hogs, but they're both pretty dumb comedies. But yet again, pretty enjoyable, not so great comedies. Hitch with Will Smith. Uh, despite controversy, I do like Will Smith, and this is just a really funny romantic comedy, also with Kevin James. I Love You Man with Paul Rudd and Jason Segel. I actually watched this for the first time recently, and really enjoyed it. Neighbors, which I actually haven't watched in a while, but it was really cheap. But I am interested to uh, sit down and watch it again. I remember some of it being pretty funny, but I got this one for free. Can't complain, but I'm looking forward to sitting back down and watching this again. Step Brothers, which I have not watched in quite some time, and I knew my, one of my brothers really liked it, so I do have it for my collection to revisit it. I also have The Other Guys, which I sat down and watched some of it. I have not finished it again. I've watched it before, but still pretty funny, but I figured these would be a pretty good pair, pair to get. Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds, a really stupid comedy I picked up. Delta Farce with Bill Ingvall and Larry the Cable Guy. Not a great movie. Um, sat down, tried to watch it, watched half of it. It's pretty stupid, but it's one I remember watching with my dad, so I've got some small connection to this kind of movie. Grand Budapest Hotel, Wes Anderson. A really great, uh, really funny uh, movie of Wes Anderson's. Actually, the first live action. Wes Anderson movie I watched before I watched Asteroid City, um, but really good. If you guys haven't watched any of Wes Anderson's, I think this is a good entryway and Fantastic Mr. Fox, which is actually my first entry to Wes Anderson. But all in all, really quirky, funny, co uh, period comedy. There's no business like show business with Marilyn Monroe and Donald O'Connor. I love my musicals. I used to have this while back, gave it to somebody else a long while. Uh, so I got a new copy. Just a really enjoyable uh, Broadway-esque type of musical. Speaking of musicals, The Greatest Showman, which I find okay. I know a lot of people love this movie, but once again, I love a good musical, and this one's not too bad, and I do like Hugh Jackman in it, and so, yeah. The Help, a really great period piece based off a book, which I remember reading some of the book. Uh, really good movie, uh, really great performances by Octavia Spencer, Viola Davis, and Emma Stone. Rush, with Chris Hemsworth, directed by Ron Howard. It's been a while since I've seen this movie. Um, once again, another cheap movie I got. But really looking forward to be watching this about racing. Hoosers with Gene Hackman. Never seen this. Hear a lot of people talk about this movie. Um, if you like your sports movies, I know this one's classic and it's up there. I'm sorry if I haven't seen it, but I have it now. So I don't have an excuse to not say I have not seen this at some point. Bohemian Rhapsody. I love my biopics. I love Queen. Um, really good movie. I don't think I like this as much as Rocket Man, but still a really good and very interesting biopic. Speaking of biopics about musical groups, Straight Outta Compton, which I've never watched before, but I kind of have wanted to. Um, no two you want to pick up? Really interested in watching this. I'm not much, I don't really listen much to rap, but I hear this is really good, 
and I do like a good biopic about musical groups, so I think this might be a good gateway for me to get into like NWA and all of them, so we're looking forward to this. Gifted, uh, directed by Mark Webb and it has Chris Evans. If you like kind of underdog movies about like really smart people, that's a pretty good one to watch. I Still Believe, which I believe is about Jeremy Camp. Have not watched this before. Another cheap brand new movie I got, but we're really looking forward to watching this. Plus, I was surprised to see that Shania Twain and Gary Sinise were in it, so looking forward to watching this. God's Not Dead Triple Pack. Um, another cheap one. Haven't seen the second two. I have seen the first one. First one's okay. Um, I don't know how the second two are going to be. I feel like they're going to be very strong pure flicks fare, which not really looking forward to, but, you know, three for the price of one, I can't complain, so. Why Did I Get Married? Um, Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married? I don't think I've actually seen this. I know it's about a bunch of couples, but, um, maybe one to watch around, like, Valentine's Day. I'm looking forward to jumping into this one. Here's the ones I'm gonna get flack for. A Medea Family Funeral, haven't seen. Medea Goes to Jail, seen parts of. Medea's Witness Protection, which is okay. And a Medea Christmas, which I actually haven't watched yet. Yes, I do like the Medea movies. They're not great movies. It's They're my guilty pleasures, because I remember watching some with my parents, but they also have some good messages in them, so sue me. The True Grit Remake, which I haven't watched in many years, but really good western. I, I wanted to revisit, and now I have. Dinosaur, which is my childhood. I remember having this VHS growing up. Um, I remember some of the effects actually still holding up. Some are a little buff, but all in all, like in terms of animation, not bad. Story's kind of bland. It's a Moses type of story, but pretty enjoyable. Double Impact and Roadhouse. So Roadhouse was one of the first radar movies I remember watching with my dad, and I love Swayze and Sam Elliott in this movie, so that's kind of why. And Double Impact, which I have on Laserdisc, and wanted to up grade and now I have the upgrade have yet to finish this but boy it's very entertaining it's it's not a great movie but it is very entertaining the Lone Ranger you and I don't get along that's all I'm gonna say about that Sky Captain the world of tomorrow not a great movie but boy I do love the aesthetic of this movie it's got a very Captain America, the first Avenger, Rocketeer sort of vibe. And that's kind of why I got it, because I love that kind of style, and that's what this has in spades. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Not a great movie, but I, I do kind of enjoy it. Iron Man and Iron Man 2. Never had them before. I had the third one, but now I have all three. Doctor Strange, the first one. Uh, I've been meaning to get this. I wanted to wait and get the one with the 3D copy because I think that would be really cool to watch. But they're always a little more in my price range. And this one was kind of cheap, so I couldn't help myself. Thor Ragnarok, really entertaining and finishes out my Thor collection. So now I have all four. Even though I wish there were three, I have all four now. Speaking of three, Guardian of the Galaxy 3. I have all three now. Really good movie. Glad to have the trilogy all together and makes me really excited for what James Gunn has for DC. Oblivion, which I got brand new for pretty cheap. Been years since I've watched this movie. Uh, has Tom Cruise and is directed by jo Joseph Krasinski, who did uh, Tron Legacy and Top Gun Maverick, which is kind of why I got this, because I want to revisit it and see if it was any good, because I remember it being a little confusing, so really curious to look, uh, dive into this dystopian sci-fi movie. Cowboys vs. Aliens. Just because. Never finished it. Not bad from what I've watched so far, but you know what? What the heck. District 9 by Neil Blomkamp. Never watched this, heard a lot of good stuff about it. I have seen Chappie, and I know that Gran Turismo is coming out, so figured I'd have to give this a watch. Plus, he almost did Robocop, and I'd still love for him to do Robocop, so I'm really curious to finally dive into this. iRobot, 
uh, based off a Philip K. Dick novel, I believe. Not a great movie, but I remember watching, finding it pretty enjoyable and very interesting the themes about humanity in this movie. Plus it has a 3D. I don't know how good or bad that's going to be, but I think it's pretty cool to have in my collection. The Star Wars prequels. So now I should have every Star Wars movie except for Solo and The Clone Wars. Harry Potter, the eight film collection. Um, watched the entirety of a couple years back and I knew I wanted to get them all. Now I have them all and I'm happy to have them. The only one I lack are two of the prequels, I think The Crimes of Grindelwald and the last one, uh, which I forget the name of. I hear it's not great, but I'm a completionist, so at some point I'll get them, but glad to have all of Harry Potter. My Childhood 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Ultimate Collection and TMNT Turtles Forever. These are my childhood and I'm just really glad they released this on home video because beforehand it's stupid, stupid expensive to get individually and I'm finally glad that they released the entire series in one collection. Lastly, as we're speaking about Turtles, TMNT, the more recent complete series. I have not watched all of this. I've watched, I think, half of season one because I got it digitally. But I hear it's really good and it gets better as it continues. But as a Turtles fan, knew I had to have it. Now I'm glad I have it. So that's everything. I know this was a bit of a long video, but there was a lot we had to go through, and I did kind of want to say a little bit about some of these movies. I didn't want to basically rant like I used to in my update videos in terms of movies, but I wanted to share what all I got. So, thank you guys for stopping. That's this video. What do you think of some of these movies? Are, do you think some of these are bad? Do you think some of these are good? Are there any recommendations you think I should pick up at some point? Or that you want to see a movie review? Because I will try and bring back full length reviews. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you do want to see more or just have any suggestions or recommendations, please put them in the comment section below. I do take them to heart and you guys are the content drivers. Like I said, I am the content creator, so I want to make what you guys would want to watch as well. I appreciate you all so much for watching this video. I thank you all as always, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video.